So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. right. Sorry, I'm a bit of a schizo, right. so, uh... <laughs> trying to fight the, the demons in my head. Sam, if you need to take a moment. I feel like even that was a very honest answer, no, though not really, but we have to. That's like being as realistic as possible with all this. <laughs> Who's the narc? I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah. I know. Bye. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. You interviewed him last time I came by. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay. But be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Still alive, ain't they? Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Very good craftsmanship. Why not a bear? It's cool. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Hello. Watch it. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Uh. Looking for Dick? Oh, what is the back of your head? Dickie. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has no. Oh, well, now we know he was in our. He was in the house. Like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. to yeah, go, have go a see a uh, go see a barber about facing the back of your head. Be here holy right shit! I need more info to figure out where Dicky is. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Here we don't call 911. Oh. Lovely. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. So let's talk to him. So, you a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR and Wait. You're that fucking reporter. I was. I, I was? Fucking up everyone's lives. 
That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Oh, you've been nice so far. Oh. You know, I might have given everything. I might have, you know, left everything behind when I left, but <laughs> didn't become a druggie. that you can't say the same. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Tyler set himself up nicely. Nice mini tra tra uh, mini trailer. I got a couch outside. Not sure if the outside part is good for it, but Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that. Yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Uh. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Fair enough, fair enough. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Come on, dude, we don't need to be aggressive about it. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Well, Dickie, Nick was my best friend and... Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. Does being aggressive, like, benefit you in any way? Give you my number. The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dicky is in one of the trailers. That narrows down. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know. Hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future. Don't you think? All right. I appreciate you answering my yeah, question. Yeah, let's not antagonize her with questions. We have nothing to hide. We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Look, we have reason to believe he's, 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 you know. 
I read the article and involved in about you and this place. home invasion Wait. or bringing entering when Nick's fishing shack. Oh, what led you to create this community? Bringing you entering I home invasion, there were souls in need of help after the mine, crash. drug trafficking, murder. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? Yes, goodbye. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's got to be in one of these places. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. I only know you by reputation. And what I know, I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck it's you assault. up. It's assault. It's assault. Hey, I don't want any Assault. Trouble. Sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey, man. This guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. At the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. The bear. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Awfully close to the tent. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. These shavings would be perfect kindling. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. Uh, the yell. Collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to be sand to distract small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. The bucket of sand the, the, the ashtray would also be good for putting out putting out uh If I sabotage Nets old hose she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. This is the cabin? Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. Hmm. Ooh, that was bad. After informing you that West Virginia coal and coal have some big sea. Hmm. Firearms and erotica. God bless America. Pre-Socratic philosophy. 
dog-eared and well-read. Look at the picture. God, selecting shit in this game is so so much a pain in the ass. Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. She is very, very talented. I'll give her that much. Where'd Anna go? She won't like how this goes down, but it's the only way. She said this place could go up like a bunch of kindling. No other option. What am I missing? What am I missing? I think right bumper this is happening, so that leads me to to assume I'm not done yet. What exactly I'm not done with yet? I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. We good now? Got everything I need. Okay. But I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey Anna, we're about to go and commit a crime. Hey uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found it. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Definitely not use a chair, because that's that, that that looks Tyler and stupid. JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Water hose. Uh, behind the curtain.
Looks like it's gonna work. The water busy, we go off. Shit, get seen. Okay. Look away when the fire flares. I'll risk being discovered then. Let's take a look at it now. Hiding there. If Anna breaks the hose, Lynette will look for a spare in the closet. Okay, let's see if this one does it. There we go. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it. You'll see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. I told him that Dicky's just a little Dicky after his uh. You'll have to be cautious. In the event that his rap career you. fails. Sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? But commit arson. Trust me. Yes. Then trust me. If it were me, I would have knocked a candle over, but... Okay, sure, let me have some match works. But don't stand around, go, go! Look at how metal looks right now. I mean, we do gotta feel guilty about what we just did though, because that was kind of fucked up. She ain't do nothing to us. Oh shit! Shit! What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Oh, hey, it's this kid. Where okay, hang on. I know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. But now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man. I can't... Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes. About his article. About the dealing and the, the drugs and... Names of dealers. And sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof? Nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. The cop? Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him. Everyone knows him. Oh, man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. Girl, just let me go, all right? 
I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, ass wife! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. Someone give me my rifle. That's murder. You're leaving. God damn it, woman. I let him go. I let the kid go. You know, no, yeah, I think we've, we've been doing it for a little over two hours now, so I think right here is a good spot to end. Things are getting, things are really starting to spice up. They're getting, they're getting spicy. It's, Officer Declan's the one behind it all, or I don't believe. Well, I, I believe he's a link in the chain, but I'm pretty sure the, the pharmacist, whoever his name is, I, I still put the blame on him because he's the one with the drugs. He's the one with access to the drugs. So I, I, I'm, I'm still thinking he's the mastermind, but we'll see how it goes. But guys, for now. Um, now we're going to be done. Tomorrow night we're recording more Pokemon. So we can record more this Monday night. That should be doable, right? Monday night more of this because we're, we're pretty far ahead in, in, in uh, Tomb Raider. So. so we should be good to go and yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the plan right now just for, uh, for, for recording is... Um, Tomorrow night, we will record Pokemon. Monday night, we'll record more of this. Tuesday night, more Tomb Raider. And then we'll figure it out as we go along. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I know there's a bit of me floundering about, about a bit, trying to figure stuff out. But uh, we're making progress, I think. Well, I don't think I know. We're, make, we're definitely making progress. And we're getting closer to figuring out what happened to Nick. Because I'm, I'm so curious to know the full story. I'm actually enjoying the game. There's some things I'm not liking, like the controls are a bit annoying, but uh, beyond that, I'm really enjoying the story. And I am excited to get get around to play more this on Monday night. So until then, guys, uh, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying my other playthroughs. And as always, just hope you guys have a, have a good day, have a good night, get plenty of sleep, plenty to eat. Stay safe, stay healthy on that good stuff, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow night for Pokemon, okay? Bye-bye.